I live not far from here, actually. Oh, That's my base. A local, a local. Yes, She's a local. yes. But I've been touring in the UK and, and in Europe, and so this is the first time I've been back to Canada for a long time, so this was the perfect venue for it. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. So you've got three albums, I understand. You've got three yeah. CDs, one just recently released? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Monsters. You, would you like to talk about it? I hear that the, the, the uh, writing was done with your guitar player, is that correct? Or? Um, actually, it was done with John Capek, who uh, wrote for uh, Rod Stewart, Rhythm of My Heart, and John also produced it. He and I have been longtime co-writers, and uh, it was um, written, oh geez, after I broke my ankle mountain biking. And uh, I had a lot of aggression, apparently, and so that's the way I got it out. And so those were your monsters in life? Yes, that was, that exactly, was exactly. You get it. You all get right, it. That's, yeah. yeah, totally great. Yeah. You know, when I was really young, really little, we listened to the Eagles a lot, and I think that's where I get a lot of the storytelling in my lyrics. Um, you know, and of course, Elvis. We always listened to Elvis when I was small. And uh, and then as I got older, Kiss, of course, um, Pat Benatar, you know. That's where um, the rock comes It down, is, yeah. Girl. Well, like, I, I saw a woman out there going, hey, you know, I could do that. Cool, she's so cool, you know. Yeah, and uh, you. and then Def Leppard, and, uh, and then just recently Metallica is a huge influence, too. Good you know, you. their lyric writing and just the way they, their attitude. You know, I think that's probably most how it influences me, you know, their attitude. And, and a lot of them aren't typically commercial um, artists, right? They're, you know, they're rejected by the radio stations. They're, you know, they made their own way by being who they are that's and right. not giving a crap. That's right. And just going for it and, and yeah. So similar message to Lady Gaga, I guess. Just do it. Just go for it. Be you and don't yeah, give up. Never yeah, give up. Exactly. We need more rock chick singers. We anyway, do. Don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> I started performing, um, I had my first band in, in high school. I was 15, and uh, that's when we actually, we did a lot of cover songs, but I also, that's when we started writing originals and slipping them in, into the, to the and we, we were playing in bars when we were 15. We had to stand outside because we weren't of legal age, right. right, during yeah. the breaks. So yeah. it, was, oh, it was crazy, but we played, those days were cover band. And, and, then, um, and then after I graduated, I uh, decided this is what I wanted to do for a living. And um, I started pursuing it, started, uh, you know, shopping to record companies, record labels, and then I met John Capek, my, my co-writer, and Excellent. we've been writing for quite a long time together. Oh, man. I mean, I, around the world, <laughs> you know, I, I have big aspirations and, uh, you know, to write with all kinds of different people, to perform everywhere I possibly can, to perform for great crowds like this, you know, larger crowds. and. And uh, yeah, it's just to just to get out there and to show everybody my, my music. And maybe share a stage with Kiss. Oh yeah, <laughs> I would love. That's that's the ultimate. I would love to open for Kiss. <laughs> there you go. Anywhere? Um, it's available on uh, RobinBrock.com. Available on CDBaby.com. And uh, yeah, yeah. So there are no record stores anymore. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Don't take things personally. <laughs> um, do what you feel is right in your gut. Don't try to be influenced by people telling you, you should, you should, you should, if it feels wrong. Do what you feel is right. And, and then take advice from people who know. You know, don't think you know everything. Thank you. That was Robin Brock. Thank you. Live at Sturgis North.